What up, though? Today is April 10th, and we have Mercury square Pluto. Under this transit, there's a lot of, you know, in-depth and obsessive thinking that can lead you to, you know, falsely try to control the narrative and thought processes of others. You know, your your thoughts get preoccupied and you don't care about things that don't matter to you. And this can lead you to, to speak recklessly to other people or about, you know, other people's situations, especially with, you know, Mercury being in the sign of Aries and Pluto being in Capricorn making a square. It makes you less considerate and thoughtful of how your speech can affect others and harm them, you know, emotionally. It makes you callous in your speech if you're not careful. In discussions, it's important that you don't really try to force your point of view on other people. If if people don't agree with you and, and you're not seeing eye to eye, it's nothing that you're going to lose by them not seeing eye to eye. Just keep it moving and don't don't waste your energy, man. You know, if it's not benefiting the collective and the, the whole, it's not important. You can't be selfish and, and you know, allow self-centered thought processes to create unnecessary issues for yourself because that's what you're doing when you argue with people and and it's not something significant if it's not going to matter in a week or a year or two years or five years don't waste your energy because you may find yourself leaving a sour taste in people's mouths that that could be beneficial to you down the line if if you seize the opportunity of this square to look within and see what type of changes you need to make and what transformations that can come from you shifting your thought process and being more considerate of others while asserting yourself and asserting yourself in ways that benefit everyone else and not just yourself. You're going to see a lot of benefit out of this. And this is a good time because, you know, Mercury and Pluto are connected with research and, you know, studying. It's a good time for you to get into the studies of, you know, psychology, magic or any other occult study. Take up the practice of yoga, things like that, that are ruled, you know, by uh, Mercury and, and Pluto because mediumship is ruled by Pluto and, you know, Mercury rules communication. This is also a good time for you to, you know, start practicing mediumship, communicating with your ancestors and spirits of the dead in general, if that's something that interests you. This is a good energy that can help you, you know, change your perspective on occult subjects and really get some good results. Take advantage of this energy, especially if you have been or are into, you know, metaphysics, occultism, magic, mediumship, spirituality, you know, psychology and things like that. Even even things that have to do with with spying and, you know, secret operations, secret societies. If you've had interest in it, this is a great time to study or put those things into practice.